Boko Haram is an extremist group from northeastern Nigeria, but have recently started their attacks on places in Chad, Nigeria, and Cameroon. Boko Haram has mostly religious-focused ideologies and works for the success of their jihad beliefs. They as well have deep ethnic and cultural roots to group members and sustain the group's momentum. The group has been linked to ISIS and has ISIS-affiliated philosophies. They have also Islamist, Jihadist, Salafist, and Takfiri ideologies. The group leaders have also, also have connections to African Islamic groups such as Al-Qaeda and Jihad from West Africa. One of the group's goals is to make Northern Nigeria an Islamic state. They had attacked Nigerian government institutions such as police stations, security officers, and military barracks, but have now their ways and have had different terrorizing tactics such as using students as suicide bombers and, like I said before, attacking churches and schools. The group has killed 20,000 people since 2010. They also abducted 276 Chibok girls in the year 2014. Then again, in early May 2017, they... Boko Haram's most impactful leaders have been, first of all, Muhammad Jusuf, which was the main leader of Boko Haram. This Nigerian was the founder of this terrorist group that started in 2002. Yusuf was born on the 29th of January 1970 and died on the 30th of July 2009, always defending his beliefs and upbringing his group official name, which means in English, people committed to the propagation of the Prophet's teaching and jihad. Another leader is Abu Bakr Shekau, which was, he was named the most wanted man and deadly terrorist according to the U.S. government. Thanks to his leadership, creating and carrying out a lot more killings than before. Abu Bakr was born in Shekau village in Nigeria's northeastern state of Yo. Nowadays, it is proven that he's still alive, however, with no trail of his actions and even him. In fact, many people believe Shekau is in his late 30s and mid or mid 40s. Furthermore, according to BBC News, his most shocking revelation was the video clip of him laughing as he admitted the abduction of over 200 girls or schoolgirls in April 2014, promising to sell them. He said, "We, I abducted your girls. I will sell them in the market by Allah. I will sell them off and marry them off. This dialogue shows the confirmation of his actions and how he connects his steps with his religion, creating a lot of controversy for this type of belief. The most and last impactful leader of this terrorist group is Muhammad Yusuf's son, Abu Musab al-Barnawi. There isn't a lot of information about this one, however, we do know that he was the formal spokesperson for the group before the, they united at Diyasu. One of the biggest counter-terrorism efforts was done by the Nigerian government. After five long years of Boko Haram gaining control, the Nigerian military has finally decided to stand up against Boko Haram. They were able to rescue hundreds of girls who were abducted and returned them safely to their families. The government also has been succeeding at taking back land that Boko Haram once took over and is sending his military to rescue the women who have been kidnapped and going into areas that are largely controlled by Boko Haram and claiming the land back. But what can we do to resolve or succeed in resolving this problem? There isn't a simple solution yet for the effects that Boko Haram caused. However, one of the simplest solutions is a long-term option, where other revolt groups in Nigeria try to neutralize them and this will conclude with the crisis of the country's building process. Thanks to this, terrorism will come to an end, when Nigerians can see themselves as one country and develop that sense of imagined 